I had to stop it right there. Anyway, I think the movie itself will be... The Wonder Woman would be good. Um, yeah, I've wasted a lot of time talking about this. I'm trying to get my facts right because I don't want to hear everybody bitching and moaning. Right? That seems to be the new thing to do to bitch at me about, you know. You didn't have that right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Anyway. <laughs> Seriously, this shit has nothing about it. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, no, that was Elizabeth Banks. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That is that dumbass. Okay, cool. Glad I did not say a wig and everybody bitch at me. They will anyway. They'll totally miss the fact that I said <laughs> No. Okay, okay. Okay, then there's nothing against wigs, so wigs should be fine as the actress uh, playing Cheetah in this new Wonder Woman movie. Uh, Gal Gadot's done a great job in the last one. He should be great as the hero in this one. Chris Pine has been great as uh, Steve Trevor. Slightly disappointed he didn't want to come back for the uh, uh, Star Trek thing, but I don't know. Maybe there's some shit I don't know about. Maybe it was really fucking stupid, so he said no. And maybe there was like a scheduling conflict, and he would be able to do this. And yeah, I can understand why you would want to do this particular thing that is working right now. This is the one DC thing that is really working. You don't want to piss off Warner Brothers. Specifically, in their yeah, right now, for their DC, for their superhero movies, DC has Wonder Woman. It has the Joker and Aquaman. I think yeah, those are the big three that are working. I know, I know, fucking Joker's a, a villain, but you know it's working. So you know, there's that. So this could be good. I mean, the next Aquaman movie you have. The actress who's proven how great she was. You have the director who proved she can do this shit and do a good job at it. And then you have, uh, I know, homeboy, Chris, back to be the love interest. So, keeping those three together, it should be pretty cool. They do a good, you know, as long as they keep everything together, keep it working, and we could have a great movie. Kristen Wiig has been very funny. She did a great job with everything she did. I didn't like her character in Ghostbusters, but that wasn't her fault. She didn't write the thing. <laughs> she's good at portraying different feelings and whatnot, so we'll figure out what she's doing with Minerva. Barbara. I'm just going to call her Barbara in case I'm fucking up the last name, because I know it's Barbara Minerva. If I'm fucking up, sorry. <sighs> So we'll see how that goes. You you got a a proven uh, group here <coughs> that understand their franchise and understand what they're doing. And yes, my voice is horrible. Thank you for mentioning that. There's nothing I can do about it. I got a horse shouting at this phone having issues with the phone charging it and shit the charger broke and I didn't know it broke I'm like what the fuck <clears throat> eh, it has burgers deal with it low level settings so at any rate um Pretty much all I got. The, the trailer itself looked pretty cool. I have a guesstimation of what I think's going on. I could be off. It's possible. But it just seems like the, the device is what he's using to control everything. And I'm guessing that it's an artifact that Barbara found. And if Barbara found that, I assume this is also where she finds the item that turns her into ch uh, Cheetah. I'm hoping she finds it in the movie so we get the epic battle with Wonder Woman. And Cheetah, because, well, let's be honest, Maxwell Lord is a mental threat. He is not a physical threat at all. No, not on paper, not anywhere. If he tries to throw a punch at Wonder Woman, she'll, like, thump him and he'll go flying across the damn room. Let, let's be honest here. Maxwell Lord's biggest threat is what he can do with his mental powers and with his flim flame man skills of his verbal, yeah, his great verbal abilities. 
But even if you bring him back as the badass he was, as the leader of fucking uh, the Brother Eye Project, I forget what the group was called. At any rate, still, Checkmate. Even as, like, the Black King of Checkmate, he, he is going to do dick all against Wonder Woman. There's a reason in the comics it took her, like, five seconds to snap his neck. <laughs> Not in the league. Sorry. <laughs> no. He's not a physical threat, so Cheetah kind of has to become close, so in, at least in the middle of the movie, I guess, enough to build up Kristen Wiig's character, uh, Barbara. Yeah, see Kristen Wiig's playing Barbara and Wonder Woman as good buddies. As, as long as they're seen as good buddies and, yeah, like, building each other up as a friendship and everything's all great, when she turns on her, that can be a big, yeah, that's a double whammy in the side for Warner Room. Because, again, because as I'm saying it, she's going to have to kill off Steve to be able to stop uh, Maxwell Lord from controlling everything. So I guess that's where, why they're using the song, How Does It Feel to Be On Your Own. I forget the actual title to it. I, I keep hearing little bits from it, people place here and there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my guess is why that particular song was picked out of all the really cool 80 music, the cool music from the 80s. Yeah, that would be my guess why that particular one. Steve Trevor being the man of time is time of the funny and they'll have this cute romance to build to build and build and realize that finally, oh shit, he's used everybody else's wishes to get himself the power to control everything through this device. And they have to go back together and try to stop it. The only way to stop that is take away everybody's wishes. So, yeah. That's going to be kind of tragic and heartbreaking there. That to when Wonder Woman has to get rid of <laughs> kind of the, uh, ah, oh, what was that thing? Uh, the Black Mercy. It's kind of like the Black Mercy, except it's got a wish granting power to it. Because this is kind of Wonder Woman's Black Mercy. Except she legitimately has to kill Steve Trevor again because I think he's really back. He's not just a, uh, a mental thing with a visual item in his head. He's like physically there. And I realize they already did Black Mercy in uh, Wonder and uh, Supergirl. Which was fine. But I think they're going to do better here with it. And I realize it's not the same thing that whatever this artifact is. And I assume there's going to be another artifact that gives uh, Barbara Minerva the powers of the cheetah, i.e. who Kristen Wiig is playing. And we'll see what happens. All right. Peace.